Hello everyone, and welcome back to Silver Run for episode 2, and yeah, we continue on pretty much where we left the last time, so what we're going to do first of all is do a quick time lapse of what we have been doing in between the two episodes of main game contract and we're done, and also sort of experimenting with some equipment, in terms of how long we're going to do that with these pieces of equipment, not too sure, but yeah. Enjoy the time lapse, and then we'll go back and get some collectibles because there have been two collectibles I have found. try out get some of those logs in because I am not too worried about in terms of actual being accurate with the lengths because that timber which I think is at the new sawmill at the far north end of the map is actually going to be used for the production because we are going to buy that production I know quite early on but 
needs must now. There was one. Oh yeah, there we go. We got the rooster sculpture. And we need 250 grand, so... The other one is in between the fields. Yeah, I think it's in somewhere amongst the fields, so... I think it's in a corner, I think there's a little shed or something, but I'm not too sure. Just bear me a sec. There we go, so I've got Discord ping in the background, if that's get picked up in the mic, but yeah, so... The field is done, field one. We are starting to collect the straw, we did release the lizard forage pickup to pick up the straw, however... Very quickly, all you have learned that is a vast amount of straw, so you know what? We're just gonna go ahead and set it straight away, so oh. Oh, can we go for these? Yeah. So yeah, across the field, uh, somewhere between fields one and fields two. So yeah, that's the force pickup and it's a full trailer of straw. Somewhere here, I think there's a building around the corner. Oh, that was a bit of speed. I think it's somewhere around here. Wait, I think I've seen it. There we go. That is the dog sculpture. So now, already second episode in, we can actually buy the sawmill. Or do we use that money to pay off the loan? No, I think I'll keep the thing for now. So I think it's going to be worth it in the long run. So yeah, first of all, let's go and hop into you. So yeah, this is what we were using. However, 19,000 years of straw. Yeah, that's got, that got picked up very quickly, so... Where can we sell straw? Silver market. Oh, there it is. A container, a little container cell point just over here, actually. Or is it, yeah, there we go, right here. So we'll go and sell this bit short. Again, we're not going to get a lot of money from the straw, but however, it's just it's a bit of extra income. So whilst that's been sold, I'm not sure if it's under sell points. It's not this one, I think. I want to say it is this one, could potentially be. Ah, we may need a bucket or something. That's why I want this the mobile bell at some point. So we'll try again, so go to productions. Whether or not this is going to work, I do not know. If this works, then yeah. So in theory, if the straw goes into the trailer, it then should automatically sell. In theory. something. If we go to mods, if we go down here, let's 
somewhere about here. Okay, I cannot find it. This will bills on that. No, don't need that. I thought we could have done it with that. However, I guess we cannot. So we'll continue on with this. So. What I'm going to do now is simply do a little jump cut off me getting all this done. Actually, sure. what? Yeah, I think we'll get a bigger trailer, I think. Is there any modded ones that we've got in? Was until we crashed them. So we got that one. Unreal capacity was four grand. We'll quick get it sold and then we'll go and finish the rest of that. So there we go, we have picked up why stop in the road? You're ahead of me, why stop? But yeah, so we've got 182,000 litres of straw, there is a teeny tiny bit left. Um actually did I return the Pick up. No, no, we still got it. So actually, we'll keep it because we've got the wheat fields. I uh, feel free to also do, and yeah, let's, let's, let's make some money from it. Let's make it worth our while. So, actually, first of all, to do that, what we need to do is go and do reverse and take straw over here. I'm not sure how much we're gonna get, but. I and they, this is basically free money for us. We picked up from a contract, so it just adds to the bonus money that we're gonna get anyway from the contract, so and I ain't gonna complete that contract yet because I did lease the harvester for this contract. And we also use the harvester for field free, so well, so that's emptying. We'll hop over to the combine, got the header on the trailer. So let's wait. So that's 27 grand we got there from the straw. Not too bad. Plus a bit of extra crop money. Okay, yeah, this contract, yeah. We get six grand for the contract and we just got like 28 ish grand, 30 grand in total nearly. From the straw. Train! Choo -choo. I'll be careful of that train because that will appear literally out of nowhere. And there are some barriers that are a bit, mm, not say hidden, but yeah, they're certainly a bit cheeky. Well, not cheeky, uh, what's the word? They will come out and surprise you out of nowhere. So, yeah, we've got some timber here, we've got the Volvo there. Okay, well, targets are unreachable. You know what? I'm not going to worry about that for now. Let's just go ahead and buy the production, because I'm actually not too sure whether or not we can. Could we actually... Uh, what's it? Let's take the wood here, or has it got to be... Or has the wood got to be sold? So it's up here. So it's up here, by store here. Core of milk. So yeah, we need wood. 
Woods, 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 and lots of woods. Well, I would do should do prefab walls. No, I think let's do everything. But we'll just actually take it all we have to load with on. I'm not sure if this would. Is there anything worth going on? Usually it'll just go straight on, but I didn't think. Don't say you can't unload the wood from the containers. Ah oh, no. So that wood there we load up. We got to sell it. So to get wood to use for productions, either it's got to be loaded onto an old trailer, a logging trailer of sort, but not in the container. Ah, right, so... That seems like it's one of the things, lessons learned. I'm not sure how much money we're going to get, since we did chuck literally a lot of wood into here. Yeah, literally chuck a like American elm tree, 14 meters of about, um, basically, I'm not feeling it. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. So, how much we're we gonna get from this? 136 grand. So, yeah, could got a bit more money from that. I think if we proper fell the trees, but oh, no, 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 doing that. That is an active train line. So, actually. Uh, we want the Volvo, but that's all we've there. What? Let's go. Let's go. Give it a rest. It's actually, there's a bit of day. Let's record the entire episode in darkness. Yeah, well, that sucks like that. But again, lessons learned. So we're in our little log cabin. Uh, how much money is it we spent on these and everything? Not too much, six grand in leasing costs, so yeah. It could have been worse. So yeah, we need to go, actually no, turn around actually, we need to go left all the way around. So follow the road, turn right and turn left at the dirt track, so you know what? Let's go ahead and do that, I'm just going to sort off, I'm sure let's, let's go through this scare, because I do... Ooh. Ouch. Careful, this is what we're releasing. But yeah, that whole thing, it does suck a little bit, but... You know what? It is fine. So we've got to move these trees and take them to play out Southern Sawmill. Yeah, it's what it is for that, so... But yeah, it's a nice scenery, this is. Early morning rise. That haze. That is nice. So yeah, go... For the end of the roads here, at junction, turn right and then turn left. But yeah, this is just absolutely beautiful. This is so much to do, so much possibilities of what we could do here. Oh, I should. I like that. A bit of fog in the distance. We got the hazed fog. That is absolutely nice. Let's blur those back. So I think what we can do is get the woods, 
get it up onto the trailer here. Hopefully this goes well because this is a normal trailer and not a you know like a logging trailer with size to protect well not only the timber because remember we can't damage this otherwise that's gonna cost a penalty fee of some sort to us. Oh careful it's not going down the hill please. so bear with me a sec whilst I go and fetch a logging tray because that timber is just going to go everywhere I know me, I know how I've done things before so yep we'll decouple you and we'll go and get ourselves a logging tray there I'm not sure if there's one that could be adjusted in here what about the loaders because there are some like the one I got there is some. That's good. That's why we want the looters. Not sure if it's this one. Yep, that's what we want. Let's go and pick that up and get those logs looted. There we go, we've got our little logging trailer here. Yeah, I just don't trust myself with. <laughs> so we'll go right up here. Because after that leads down across the river and towards the mine shaft. So yeah, let's go and get this timber loaded up. And to be honest, it shouldn't take too long. I mean, it's just like, well, I think that there's, there's just like a mine shaft over there, it's like all the part of the mountain, but it's just like, this is just absolutely beautiful, this is. But, anywho, beauty remarks aside, we got some timber to load. Boink! So, yeah, this ain't gonna take a lot. Like this is like over kill. Could go on with this your log trailer half the size. I just wanna get as much logs as possible in one go. So yeah, we will continue on this, get this done, and taken down to the southern sawmill, I think. Had me down for the count. I was on nine nine all the time. Shattered soul, you took control. Now I'm gone, bye bye, bring the fire You took something beautiful and made it something cool That's all that I get from you You're so delusional, now watch me take control Let you go. 
few contracts. We even did a couple of tree trap support contracts. Insurance was the harvest contract with the Wii. We got about eight grand or so in grain that we was able to sell. And we got about 15 or so-ish grand from the straw. So, at the end of the day, straw's very beneficial. So we'll be done in the future with any future harvesting contracts. So, what we can do is return you. But yeah, we've still got the Volvo, and yeah, like the more I'm using this, just even though it's at least for a bit of cheeky bit of logging on me, it was a bit cheeky me. But man, this makes all the difference. Yes, it's 300 grand, but to be honest, I don't think we're not too far off from potentially having this. Obviously, first of all, I do want to have the Iron Furnace. Get the metal work underway because he gets 180 grand, and rather than have to rely on a wheel loader to load it, we could potentially have a belt system if it works, uh, which would be the best. Um, I think, to be honest, be something like that potentially. I think like a dual belt system, so that's what, 23-ish grand? Or we could have a... Yeah, I think we'll get that, 5 grand. Perhaps get something like that. So it goes high enough to get into the trailer. We don't need the massive conveyor 1690, because that is just massive. But this... It's long, but we can make it quite steep. So I think, yeah, we can go with that. Yeah, and yeah, just potatoes, but yeah, so potential ideas for that. But for now, we'll get some logs laid up to the sawmill because we have cleared this a bit, and boy, this has really opened up very quickly. So, we do have a little bit of room left over. I think what we could do is get like some of these small trees. So you need to be cut out at some point, so. Yeah, they're gonna not gonna be too big in that, or too big in volume, but it's just. It's getting out of the way. But yeah, all this timber will go up to the sawmill, and we'll finally be able to feed it. So I've got a little mistake with this containers, which is, yep, yeah, less than earned, but... Hey, at the end of the day, it is what it is with that, so... Uh, a bit of dead wood there. Actually, is there any more contracts for us to do? Some Colvin contracts, mm, possibly. Not overly keen on that. Oh man, another tree transport contract. We will accept that. And yeah, we can look at doing some rock removal contracts as well. So that's the rock you know, the tree transport is just up there so yeah not it's across the map a bit but it ain't too bad did we pick up that timber not too sure but yeah no what i think yeah we'll sort waffling on here this is a big set of timber some of it we did like six meters out we pre-done but then we sort of went with some of like 50 meter logs and that one that's near hit the cab is a 18 meter log so thankfully the trip to Sawmill ain't too bad, ain't going to be too perilous so chance of us tipping this it's not impossible but yeah it's a bit less likely to tip so yeah literally straight up here and then turn left 
as we approach the train and into the sawmill from there. So yeah, let's go head up there and then yeah, let's get that timber production underway. And there we go. So I think as before, it's just case of reversing this down. And then we should sort of see it loading up potentially. There we go. Hear it clacking away. See all that timbers going up. So there's issue logs are floating away. Come on, Tia. I, I do love that sort of animation. That is nice. So it goes up here, as uh, sort of should have seen before. And it goes into the little under the tents, what tents or what you call that little flap, that's it. Yes, yeah, it's not instant, but uh, if we go down now, we'll go to our productions. Already 13,000 litres, and yeah, I think we'll do prefab walls as well because a lot of this the road coaster will need. As well, we'll need other bits, we need railings and that, or staircases, so we could potentially look at that, getting that production, which is down here somewhere. And then all the furniture, it's this one here. Which I want to say, let's go and buy his production. Wood turner for 80 grand. So that could do with both timber as well as long planks. So things like pep grinders and bowls, I'm not too worried about that. But yeah, so get some timber, get some long planks, because the difference is. But yeah, for for the staircase rating. That is a 1 to 2.2 ratio compared to a basically just over a 3 to 1 ratio. Same cycles per month, so that is nice. I see. Should we go to the road coaster? How much, what does that need for like the first stage? So go to the road coaster. So I need wood beam, planks, long planks. So yeah, pretty much all of what we're doing at the moment. Apart from prefab balls, they do need that at the moment. Also, it does need floor tiles. So where do you get floor tiles from? I know we can buy some of these stuff if we really want to. So that's the team warehouse. Rent a train. I think is it is it the furniture store that we can get the floor tiles? I'm not too sure, we've got to do a bit of research on that, but Last bits of timber is going in, so it's taking a bit of a time, admittedly, yeah. Don't worry, we're not flooding the engine. See the last little bits. And look at that amount we've got 4E1. Thousand liters. That is looking nice. So you get a forty-three ish or so thousand liters. Now if we fast forward time a bit. 
So yeah, very soon we should start seeing some materials popping out there. I know the timber is going to be consumed quite quickly, so we do need to keep on top of that. But actually, um, yeah, that is... Yeah, we've already got one blue planks. Let's fast forward time a little bit quicker. There we go. And we've got first set of planks, so... Is it over here? Nope. Ah, there we go. And we've got our first pallet of planks. Happy days indeed. And actually, how much do planks go for? Let's say if we just could sell for now. Rather than do the road coaster straight away. Planks worth about 4.3k four, 4 ish, 4.2. 5 grand at Elm Creek. That ain't too bad. Well, not too bad indeed. But I'll wait on that for now. But yep, that is where we are pretty much done for the day. Go. Hop into you. Uh, we'll go to shop because we need to get our little rock picker friend. There's the train. And it'll just about beat us to it. Yeah, we'll get our pick, or they'll pick up with the trader because eight miles an hour. Yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a time to tr get around. So if we go into tools, go to skid steer tools, and there we go. We got our little rock picker friend. Yeah, little picker there. <laughs> Little rock pecker. But yeah, I think as well, like, what can we return? Oh, yeah, we'll return that for now. I don't think we'll need that much longer. But yeah, as well as the traders. So we'll just get closer like, to the one hour mark. Oh yeah, we won't need this bit here. We won't need that adapter. So it goes like... Fold, unfold. So let's just do a quick demonstration and see how this works. There is some rocks over here on our land. As far as I'm aware from what I've looked about rock picking or rock breaking, whatever it would call it, is that if it's as a contract, you can't pick it up. However, in theory, we should be able to pick it up if it's our own, right? Surely. So there's a one, one part of there. And two parts over here, so <coughs> so just pegs it, you need to keep it in one spot. Boom! <laughs> it's actually quite nice, that is. I think we'll do it uh, on this land because I'm not sure what we would do this piece of land. Perhaps we could potentially get all the subs done and then. Yeah, potentially have a look at getting the like, subs removed. And perhaps we can look at putting the iron furnace here. Potentially, yeah. But on that note, this is where I'm going to leave you for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button, feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. But first, do, do, thanks for watching. But for now, 
this to be Farm Level Extreme. I'll see you all very soon.